everyone. MJ here of Mike and MJ's RV Adventures. Well, we just got back from doing our Tuesday chores. I guess this is Tuesday. <laughs> I know it's Tuesday because tomorrow's my grandson's 11th birthday. Happy birthday, Jacob. Um, I just wanted to give you my thoughts on going to Walmart and uh, going to uh, do my laundry. Uh, during this coronavirus scare. First of all, we went to do our laundry this morning. We got there at 10 till 6 in the morning. There was no one there. The place was spotless. You could smell the bleach in the air. They had cleaned everything. I still went in with my gloves, my surgical gloves. Um, I have hypertension, so I'm pretty careful about myself. Uh, put my laundry in, went out, and sat in the car. While I was sitting in the car, an elderly gentleman walked in, uh, wiped his nose with his hand, and then opened the door to the laundry mat with his bare hand after he just wiped his nose. That is why I wear gloves when I go into places like that. I also wear gloves when I go into Walmart. I don't care what anyone thinks. You know, I, I don't want to get sick. I love our beautiful life, and uh, I'm not doing anything to uh, take a chance of getting sick. So uh, our trip to Walmart uh, was good. Uh, hoarding is still alive, and uh, people are still hoarding sugar, flour, um, certain meats, bread, uh, there's bread, but there's not, like, good bread, you know what I mean? Uh, I did find a bottle of 91% alcohol. I'm going to make uh, some hand sanitizer for some friends that don't have any. I have plenty. We, we bought it before we even got on the road. So I have a few friends that don't have any, so I'm going to make some for them. Uh, Walmart was pretty successful trip. Uh, Michael got oil to change our oil in our truck because we're getting ready to take a six-hour trip up the mountain uh, next week. Not this weekend, but next weekend we're leaving Quartzsite. And uh, that's about it. Walmart was a pretty successful trip. We got pretty much everything we wanted to get. Uh, they had some toilet paper there. Of course, all the paper towels, baby wipes. Uh, Clorox wipes, that stuff's all gone, you know. I was shocked that I was able to find the alcohol over in the drug section. Uh, I asked the lady if she had any alcohol. I had to ask her. There was two bottles on the shelf, which were only 50%, uh, and she said, yes, right there, and she pointed to them, and I said, no, that, that I want to make hand sanitizer. It's not strong enough, and she said, come here. She showed me down in the very bottom shelf, there was 91% big bottles of alcohol, 91% in Walmart and Parker. So if you need to get alcohol, it's one per person. I asked her if I could buy two. I didn't see the notice on the shelf. And she said, honey, I can only sell you one. And I said, that's fine. I'm grateful for one. And I was. Uh, I have a few friends that don't have hand sanitizer, and I want to make them some. So uh, that's it for today. I just wanted to give you my thoughts on it. Uh, the laundromat was spotless. It was the Main Street laundromat. Um, I don't know if the diner was open or not because we were early. Uh, but you could walk in and smell the bleach in the air. They had just cleaned the laundromat, and they're constantly keeping up with it. But still, I took my disinfectant Lysol spray in. I sprayed everything down. I wiped the machines down. I wiped the counters down that I folded my clothes on. So uh, I'm just taking precautions. I might be a little overboard, but you know what? Better safe than sorry. Okay, folks, that's it. Um, I just like everyone for like to thank everyone for stopping in, and uh, I love you all. Okay, and be safe, be healthy, and please remember to wash your hands, okay? Two minutes, wash them. Just stand there and just daydream and wash your hands, <laughs> okay? See you soon. Bye-bye.
Good morning everyone. MJ here of Mike and MJ's RV Adventures. Well, today we are going to the laundromat. Um, as you can see, I'm wearing rubber gloves, surgical gloves, and uh, I took my disinfectant spray in with me, sprayed all the machines that I'm using, and uh, there's absolutely no one here. Got to do laundry, no choice running out of stuff we didn't haven't gone for two weeks so uh, I'll take a walk through and show you the laundromat how dead it is as you can see nobody's here these are my three machines I'm using there's the restaurant it's not open yet oh I forgot to mention it's 6 a.m. Somebody just pulled in to do their laundry, too. Uh, we're going to be sitting out in the car. We're not hanging out inside. Wait for our laundry to get done. Okay. This is a great laundromat. It's so spotlessly clean. They're constantly cleaning. Place to sit in the back. Showers. Plenty, plenty, plenty of washing machines and dryers. Okay. See you in a bit. Well, this is a uh, big change, sitting in the car, truck in the laundromat. We're usually inside socializing with everybody, but I guess that's uh, not going to fly right now. So uh, we're, we got about another, what, five minutes for the laundry to finish up. And then I'll go in and throw it in the dryer and come back out here and sit again. Fun times, huh, Mike? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Antisocial. <laughs> well, <laughs> I'm I'm not gonna comment on that. <laughs> social distancing. All right, same. Thing. We're social distancing ourselves, although we don't really like to do that. At least I don't. But uh, that's what we're doing. We're trying to be safe and protect ourselves and protect others. You can't. I mean, we have to do things that need to be done. So just have to do it carefully. All right, everyone. That's it for today. See ya. Thanks for stopping by. See ya. Don't forget to wash your hands and use disinfectant if you have it and, and uh, hand sanitizer. Okay? See you soon. Stay healthy. Okay, everyone. We're on our way up to uh, Walmart in Parker. We need to get the oil changed in the truck because we're getting ready to head up to... Uh, the mountains up in Arizona. Beautiful morning as you can see the sky's so blue. It's getting lighter earlier. Spring is here. See you soon. Well we're getting ready to walk into Walmart. Let's see how this goes. Let's see if there's anything left on the shelves. I'm hearing it's not really getting too much better so we will let you know people. What's left of the toilet paper. And they gave you a quarter of a roll. <laughs> Isn't that something? Excuse me. I'm looking for Michael. He's in getting oil. And uh, they're stocking shelves in the meat department. There's no pork, but there is burgers and uh, no toilet paper or paper towels or anything like that. Uh, they have uh, a couple boxes of toilet paper, but it's the cheap crappy stuff and it's a four pack, so it's better than nothing, I guess. Okay, see you in a bit. This is the bread aisle. As you can see, anything decent's gone. People are still hoarding. baby wipes all that stuff's gone alcohol all that that's all gone 
Well, they have 91% isophil alcohol, but you're limited to buy one. But that's good. I can make some hand sanitizer for some friends. No, it was a pretty successful trip to Walmart. We got pretty much everything we wanted. I wanted to get some whole wheat flour and some flour and um, some other things so I could make bread. But, uh, of course, they didn't have any. No dried milk, no canned milk, no sugar. We did get coffee that we were looking for. And so... Uh, it was pretty successful and I did get 91% alcohol okay limit one per person so they do have that okay well thanks for coming along that's the end of our video please like and subscribe